Hello, it's Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to be sharing a flip through with you of my bullet journal. So I'm going to show you the pages that I've been using in January, so my calendars and planning pages, how I plan and work through different projects and also different types of trackers that I've been using. I'm also going to share with you my setup for February so far. I haven't filmed a plan with me and that's mainly just been because I like to sit down in the evenings and do a couple of pages at a time as I set up for a new month. But I really hope you enjoy seeing the pages that I've used and that maybe it gives you some ideas for some pages or project planning or trackers or something that might be helpful in your own journals. So I really hope you enjoy it. I keep my bullet journal inside this gorgeous cover from Start Bay Notebooks that says Journal with Purpose on the front. And in this cover, I've got some plastic dashboards. So I've just put in some printables in there. I'm using a Rodeo Goal Book for my bullet journal. And I've also got a notebook behind from Pondalily, which I've been using for personal development notes and trying out different things. So that's really handy to have in the back there. At the beginning of my goal book, I've got my contents pages here. And my undated calendar, which I use for key things like birthdays and also working out how many weeks there are in each month. And as part of my January setup, I shared that I'd created a brief future log for the next 12 months where I'm planning out things like my online classes, my printables theme for Patreon, Patreon videos and free printables for my blog. So I'm just about to start writing down some details for February. And then I have a more detailed list here of the things that I want to get done which support those activities here. So each step of that. And I've also got my monthly plan, which ties in with that first page where I showed you with the different weeks, how many weeks there are in a month. So those are the kind of things I want to be doing in each week to make sure I'm staying on top of things like Patreon, online classes, YouTube videos and my blog. So this is my setup for January so far. So I've got my cover page there. And with my calendar, because I don't have lots of appointments and things at the moment, I do use this to write in any scheduled telephone calls that I've got coming up, but also things like project deadlines, or I'll just make a few notes of things that I've been doing each day. So I've got things there like working on printables, recorded voiceover, paying tax yesterday and Patreon filming, so that at the end of the month, I've got a really good feel as to where my time has gone. On here I wrote out my main tasks for the month and I'm still working through some of these. And then right at the end of the month I'll write down my numbers for social media and also complete an end of month review. And the different printables I'm using were my last month's printables over on Patreon. And this is my master task list, which I find so helpful. I break it down into categories such as journal with purpose, social media posts, extra additional work for the HR side and things for home and me. And these are the things that I was hoping to get done or during January, or at least I know at some point in the future, so like an organized brain dump. This is my gratitude log for January so far and my habit tracker. I'm really pleased I've stayed on top of my habits well during January and that's definitely been helping me with all my other tasks to keep me focused and make sure that I'm taking good care of myself as well. Behind that I've got my be proud page and one line a day. 
So on here, I'm just writing down little accomplishments. So things like releasing a new video, stretching my creative skills, doing my on-camera filming, which you'll know I struggle with a little bit, but I'm trying to do it more often. Um, submitted a collab project, making healthy food choices. And I do this to try and make sure that every evening I focus on the good things that happen that day, the things that I've been able to accomplish. And on my one line a day, it, it might be work related, but otherwise things like watching Lord of the Rings, baking morning with Abby and my daughter, knitting, released my journal zine video on YouTube, cooked family roast. So just a nice little feel of snippets from throughout the day. And these are my planning pages for my YouTube channel and my blog. So I write down things that I would like to film or have committed to filming and then make a note of when they've been filmed, edited and released and the same for my blog. And this is my dream catcher mood tracker from January, which I'm really happy with how that's turning out. So I picked three different uh, colours of washi tape and I'm then cutting those into feathers to hang off the strands. So it gives me a really good visual representation by the end of the month as to how my mood has been. And this was doing some swatches from some pressed flower washi tape from London Gifties. Here I included some recipes I want to try out from Pinch of Nom, so they're kind of healthier recipes. And I love using my bullet journal for planning work activities, but also anything related to my lifestyle and health that I want to work on. Next is where I use my planning for my week and my days. So these are the only two columns that I set up in advance so that I've got a quick view for the week of any calls that are coming up and things I need to be aware of. And again, I often also write a little note as to what I've been working on. And then for my daily plans, I leave this to be free flowing so that I've got as much space as I need for each day. And then I also have a little space where I write things out that I know I need to do the following week. So that could be things that I didn't get done during the week or things I know are falling due that week. And also an end of week review. Behind this, I set up a dry January tracker. So that's kind of a challenge for not drinking any alcohol throughout the month. And as you can see, I've done really well this month. I'm really happy with that. I just wanted to make sure that I was making mindful choices. And so I think that's done me the world of good. This is my weight loss tracker. So I've covered up my weights but so then I'm just gonna fill in each color in one of the boxes each time I lose another pound. This was a page that I created for cult pens, but it's something I was really happy to do. So 21 things I'd like to do by the end of 21. So I've got things like knit a scarf, I'm nearly there, learn how to crochet, release 10 new online classes, learn three new font styles, fill a sketchbook, take a photo every day, try 10 new craft projects, 12 random acts of kindness and complete a whole art journal. So most of those are really fun things or personal development things I'd like to do by the end of the year. And this is a planning page for a class that I released on Skillshare, which was making your own junk journal. So I write out all of the topics or lessons that I want to cover in that class. And then when I've either done the demo filming, recorded the voiceover and uploaded that lesson onto the platform. And then these, these are all of the tasks that go alongside that. So loading the lessons, adding the thumbnails and things like that. And then I included a photograph of the thumbnail from that class. And I really like having things like that. Again, it's great when I read back through it to remember what I've been up to, but also really helpful when I'm working on quite a big project that I need to break down into lots of little tasks. After that, I'm back into my weekly and daily spreads. And all of these are cut out from some wide washi tape from London Gifties. And I've used exactly the same format there. Those were my pages from last week and my setup for this week so far. 
Behind that, I've got my setup for February. And again, this is the printables from my Patreon. They're also available over in my shop and I've gone for a stationary theme for the month. So I've just drawn that pencil around the word Feb. That's my calendar setup for the month, my main tasks, master task list, gratitude log and habit tracker, my be proud and one line a day, YouTube and blog plan, and then my stationary themed mood tracker for the month. And my monthly setup tends to stay pretty much the same because it works so well for me. And I like not having too much pressure when I'm setting up my plans for the week because I want to make sure that they're really functional, but that also they look quite attractive to me so that I, it kind of encourages me more to look at those pages and use them. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing my bullet journal from January and my setup for February and I hope you're doing really well. If you did enjoy the video it would be great if you'd leave it with a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And as always a huge thank you to everybody who's supporting me over on Patreon, I really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you really soon in the next one.